So we're used to we're used to using for fire starters. We're used to using matches, so you can start a fire with a match, right? So a one strike match. You can go twice as far if you split the match in half, but you got to be really good about making sure that you get it to go. But uh, you've got a hundred strikes here on this on this match. Okay, so we got matches. We have uh, other types of fire starting, and you can use those matches. Um, there are some fire starters uh, that can be made from paraffin wax. These are makeup remover cotton. pads cotton pad. that have been soaked in paraffin. So if you get paraffin from the canning department in your store and it comes in a block like this, you can put it into your into a pan that's probably dedicated to doing that. Um, Kind of like when you do your bullets for your lead, you want to make sure it's a dedicated pan. Uh, and then you would soak these in the in the liquefied paraffin, let it solidify, and they're pretty much waterproof and cotton uh, stays that way. And when you're ready to use them, I understand that you break them, and that exposes the cotton fibers. And then you can you can light that, and it'll burn. And the paraffin, like a candle, it'll just uh, take off and be a good a good fire starter. We could try one here and see see how it performs just uh, on top here. So that one looks like less than stellar, um, although it may be helpful in other situations. So let's try a different variety here. This is a variety that uh, has kind of a wick application to it. So this is made out of a egg carton cell. So you take an egg carton cell and pack it with dryer lint and you cut that cell out, uh, crunch it over top of itself, use uh, jute twine to wrap it around it, that'll become your wick. And then, then this will then dip into your liquid paraffin. So you have a ready wick um, sitting here, ready to to burn. So let's uh, let's see how that works. So your your lint should be soaked in paraffin as well. So this one looks like it's going to be a keeper. Yeah. And the others came from Azure, the store bought one. Oh, okay. And a good friend of mine said, has said that dried orange peels are good. I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> they burn. It's supposed to be the... Uh... Citric acid? Yeah. So I might have smothered it too. <clears throat> you just want to be careful when you're using using lint because it has all kinds of things in it that only your enemies are downwind. Because my wife and I used lint at our unity fire at our wedding. <laughs> and so that sets out our that's a, This is the better one here. Yeah. The egg carton awful young. <laughs> so this is our, our fire starter yeah, that uh, we used that was made from the egg cartons that had lint in them and then soaked in paraffin. So this is what it would look like. Um, you would light, you light the wick right here. You can hold on to this if you need to hold on to it. This one's just sitting. And this just took off on its own, is, is burning. That would be a great wet fire starter material if you needed to, or even just a regular fire starter. Set your fire and then get your fire starter going underneath. And these are homemade from dryer lint egg cartons, and paraffin wax. So this one we, was timed 
and it's been going now for probably about five minutes. There's been time before and they will last burning at this capacity for approximately nine minutes. So five to 10 minutes of, of burn time, enough to get moist fuel dried out if necessary. Dry fuel will get going in a hurry and it just uh, looks like a really good setup. A prepared product called fuel lighters or anything like that, basically just a particle board that's been condensed together. And sure that works, but you do have to get it started. This probably will burn well. It's just like a, like a compressed fire log that you would get uh, at the hardware store for your, for your stove. Some people burn those compressed particle board logs, um, but this is essentially that um, same sort of thing. So So we're gonna look at the, the magnesium match. So basically it's a block of magnesium uh, with a ferrule rod and a steel, a steel plate. And the idea is that you would scrape off a small um, section of, of this uh, magnesium. You're scraping it from your magnesium block. You want to have a nice little pile of that shaving. You can dull a knife pretty quick this way. But when it gets going, it burns hot. If you have good tinder. So it all boils down to having good, good tinder. So if you have really good tinder, the smallest flame will be able to take off. Basically you need oxygen, you need fuel, you need heat to get your fire going. So I don't know if that's going to be enough or not, but we'll try to get that close together. We'll get um, some lint here. Put that on top of the lint. Nest. There we go. And we got it. So we <clears throat> started out using the tried and true, just using a, a regular regular stick match. We know that's going to work, but we know that's not going to probably be something that we'll always have. And it actually may end up get, getting wet and then not being usable at all uh, if they're wet. Wet matches are no matches. So don't forget that. Wet matches are no matches. The other option that you can, uh, that you can use is something like this called a Thousand Light, which is pretty handy. As far as a match goes, it has butane fuel in it, has a little wand here that has a little wick on it, fiberglass wick and an O-ring to keep from leaking in your pocket. It has a striker on the outside. You strike it and you have a, a nice long burning match. It's not gonna burn your fingertips. And that's a really helpful thing to get almost any kind of tinder uh, fire going. When you're done, just blow it out, pop it back in and you're good to go. Uh, only thing is you gotta have the refillable uh, lighter fluid available so that you can have that but you can get a lot of a lot of strikes out of that and it's a good a good match to have around probably more reliable than your than your wood match uh, <clears throat> another option that you can use is is a magnesium fire starter use one end here to put a, a shave off some shavings onto your onto your work area of magnesium and then once you've got a, a a bit of those shavings. You want to have a fairly decent pile. Don't want to do uh, a whole pile here, but uh, get a, a small little bit there. And then take your take your striker on the rod on the other side that's supplied, and just go straight down. If there is more magnesium there, it probably would go better. So that's that's got a pretty good strike to it. Once I get going like that, straight down like that. Um, the other way that worked really well. And we should maybe try this without the magnesium and see 
if it uh, if it does it does work that well. So this is just dryer lint. It's good and dry. We'll do our do our strike right on top of that and see what we come up with. Okay, look at that. So just the rod by itself. We got our dryer lint going and then we can feed that the magnesium if you're in a, a low a low fire situation or, or a wet situation if you get enough of that magnesium it'll be good and hot and it'll help whatever you have to to catch fire so the secret ingredient here uh, appears to be dryer lint and then there's just the the stick the fire stick and this is a a piece of cord with a ferrule rod here again and a steel a steel bar and again you can use a, a good piece of tinder I always want dry tinder and then and there we go it's starting again just feed your fire 